<sighs> Welcome to Hamilton, an indie horror game that's, I mean, it's kind of old. I, I downloaded it like a week ago, but since of all the, uh, the lab and all these other games, it's, it's, it's a little late, but we're going to get into it because it looked cool. Donk! A weird noise, but sure. It's been three weeks since my best friend disappeared. She went to Hamilton Forest with her boyfriend, and nobody has heard from them since. The police say they performed a search of the area and found nothing. They said that further exploration was too dangerous and that the risk to the search party was too great. I can't imagine how you must feel, the officer had told me. His blank gaze failed to meet my eyes. But you can't go on looking for them. But I'm going to, clearly. When I woke up this morning, a moldy page was lying on my living room floor. A set of coordinates written in what I immediately recognized as her handwriting. It's the dead of winter, but I don't care. I need to know what happened. Man, if it was me, I would have been just like, eh, five more hours. Let me sleep. It's an interesting moldy note, but I mean... So we're looking for a person with a Karen-esque haircut. Last seen in Hamilton Forest. Well, hopefully this game doesn't last two minutes. What's this? Backpack. I must be getting close. Really, it was that easy? Saying you had search teams look for her for like hours, but then I just enter it and I'm just like, Damn, I already found her backpack! Those search people, police and volunteers must be quite incompetent. Do not notice an orange backpack in the middle of a very blank... Uh, ravine? I guess? I don't know. Hmm, what's this? Ah, extreme hazard. No rescue beyond this point. Oh. Are these her boots? Why would she have taken them off in this cold? Skinny dipping? Polar bear skinny dipping? For those unaware, polar bear diving or polar bear swimming is like something you do in Canada. I'm not sure if it's anywhere else, but in Canada, you can, as, like, as, as a kid or as a teen, you can go into like programs for swimming where you literally do like ice swimming. Or to train your body to be resistant to it and other reasons. Um, you can usually see meme videos of like, just like things on Vine or other shit, like the Chinese Tech Talk app, um, or, sorry, a Chinese Communist Party app, where you see some Canadians like, and like these kind of Canadian meme videos where like Canadians are just like jumping in like com a complete like Arctic frozen lake. And they just cut a hole and just like dive in or like they just pop out like they're polar bears. It's more than likely they either just live in that area and they're just used to it or they did polar bear training. Polar bear ice fucking swim. I don't even know the exact wording. Her diary. It looks more or less intact. Maybe there's a clue inside. I got this really strange email today about this old place in Hamilton Forest. Apparently it's super haunted due to some crazy dark shit that happened there years ago. Not too sure if it's legit, so I'll bring Jake along just in case. Cops are always super strict about staying out of Hamilton, so who knows, might be something cool. The next page is torn, her handwriting is barely legible, shaky and spaced unevenly, like she was writing with her eyes closed. It's going to be great, a really strange haunted... Uh, it's going to be great, a really strange haunted... Okay. Sure if it's legit, but might be something cool. Bring Jake. Staying. Your handwriting's kind of shit at that point, I guess. Are they about sleepwalking? Too late. Oh, that's the... The Karen. Just zombified and rotten. With necrosis. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pronounce it necrosis to piss people off now. It's too late. Too late. I'm already rotting. Oh, I have a flashlight I didn't know I had until I hit F. Excellent. Nice, I like the Silent Hill rustiness. You know, one thing I have been neglecting, all thanks to all the furry games and fucking the lab and all that shit, is Adam Lost Memories. I haven't started playing that. I tried playing a bit, but the unoptimization was fucking me over. Hmm. 
I have to turn up my monitor brightness. It's kind of dark. You can take my word for it. Like, however you see the video on YouTube, it's going to be how it looks for me. But, I've already explained my whole monitor with theater mode. I'm, like, of all the money I don't have now, thanks to the dentist shit, like, it, it's, I'm really happy about... Please report any unusual or anomalous activity. What kind of s Our lives may depend on it. What happened in here to make it so people would po post a sign like that? It's like the Doom 3 fucking UAC facilities? Yeah, I'm happy I bring up dentist and cost. There's so many things I want to buy now. And not game related per se, but it'll... I mean, gaming related and YouTube related. Like, I want to get a new pair of headset. Like, a new headset. This Astro, Astro A50 are really awesome, but I need a new version. And, uh... I'm really happy for the, all the patrons I have. A skull, you know, that's... That's cool. I don't even know where I was going with that conversation. I don't know. I'm just being thankful towards patrons. Uh, it's almost impossible to completely restrict entry into the exclusion zone simply because it covers too big of an area which borders multiple towns in the region people wander in all the time and the amount of missing persons reflects that. Providing extensive warnings about some fake dangers has proven to be ineffective given they don't usually dissuade the foolhardy. It's hard to lie to families about why the police can't send search parties out to look for their loved ones. It's harder to stop them from doing it themselves. Well, I mean, yeah. Depends. I mean, for me, I think the video started and I was just like, yeah, I'd, I'd stay, go asleep, just stay asleep. Why would you venture out in the middle of dark? I don't know how anyone, like, oh no, not my friend, that's not my girlfriend. Shit, I really gotta look out for them. Eh. I'd want to sleep in first. Hmm. I probably wouldn't have seen that uh, silhouette down there if it weren't for me turning on my monitor brightness. Oh yeah, now I remember why I was talking about money and gratitude towards patrons. A new monitor. Well, that's one way to make me somewhat paranoid. I want to know what's over here, though. Yeah. But yeah, new monitor. The monitor I have is honestly still pretty damn good. I don't want to increase my monitor. Like, I know computer resolutions. 1080p has been, like, the go-to for the longest time, and it probably will remain that way as a... as resolution of choice for a majority of gamers probably for the next five six years until 1440p takes over uh, let me finish this thought uh, upon entering or let me postpone that thought uh, upon entering the exclusion zone individuals are immediately at risk though evidence suggests that the chance of them being affected by the phenomenon is linked to their distance from what is currently thought to be the centermost point of the exclusion zone satellite imagery shows that this area contains an as-of-yet-explored, unexplored cavern located within the eastern region of Hamilton Forest. All attempts to reach the cavern have been met with failure. Again, incompetent search parties. This doesn't look well. But yeah, 1080p. Um, 1440p is probably... If I'm going to get a new monitor, it's probably going to be a 1440p. Jumping to 4K, I think, is a gimmick, and it's stupid. Anyone who buys or has bought 4K... Even though it's not necessary, and your computer probably can't handle 4K, like, if you don't have a beast fucking rig that you spend $4,000 on or something, 4K is completely pointless. The only thing 4K is good for is for, like, TVs for movie purposes. In terms of gaming, man, the 4K is gonna fuck with your visual quality and your frame rate. Man, having a high frame rate is much, vastly important. So, like, 1080p, yeah, fine. If you want more visuals, super sampling. Like, there's so many things that make it so you can super sample and make, like, 4K kind of uh, pixelation to be super sampled into a 1080p monitor, and it looks just fucking fine. 
getting 4K was a complete gimmick, and anyone who bought into that, honestly, it just it annoys me. It's just, it's just very stupid. But uh, 1440p, that's fine. But you'd want a monitor that's like 1440p at 200, 240 is it now? Yeah, it's like from 120 hertz to 240 hertz. 240 hertz and 1440p would future-proof you for sure. That's what I would be looking at, but the problem is again, money. Because the dentist bill, I paid $5,000 on dental shit. $5,000 now, I thought it was going to be $4,000. It's now up to $5,000, it'll probably go up to $5,500, and then $6,000 by the end of the year. It was a lot of money. A lot of money I was saving, and it's all gone now. <laughs> I'm giving you this letter to you in confidence, as I don't want to incite a panic, but this is urgent. The most recent occurrence has forced us to reevaluate the estimated outermost perimeter of the exclusion zone. Assuming, as we have been, that the zone is a perfect circle, our new status suggests that the Hamilton Forest monitoring station lies within the bounds of the exclusion zone. I'm forced to conclude that the only reason we have not yet affected have been affected by the phenomena is that the station lies so close to the edge that the probability of an event occurring is extremely low. Please be reminded that I cannot provide any information that indicates what the chances exactly are as we still do not know potential triggers and have not been able to find any meaningful patterns or indicators which would inform us of an imminent, of an imminent event assigned from proximity. I'm proposing an immediate evacuation of the guise of... The writing stops abruptly. There's an old Polaroid photo lying next to the letter. A creepy looking shaggy with a red shirt. Hmm. Well, I'm glad this isn't a two minute game jam game. Oh. What? Admin 2, we are okay. Please send emergency assistance. That's kind of contradicting. The question is, what is this? And what is the phenomena? What is... It's not the temperature that's killing people. I'm hoping it's something intriguingly unique. Maybe like a rust monster. This flashlight's completely useless. We're gonna stop talking and now getting immersed into the game so people don't complain and be like, Nico, shut the fuck up, okay? <sighs> we gotta immerse ourselves into the horror. But we're probably gonna get real fucked real hard soon enough. I'm not feeling this whole way. And I'm moving slower and slower. Is that who I'm supposed to rescue? In a dead end room? This is going to be where I meet my end. Oh god, it's her. At least her Karen haircut's still there. Well, I'm bracing for impact. Oh. 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 She got up. This is like a rust monster. It didn't take long for the authorities to figure out where he had gone. Mysterious clues, supposedly left by those who had perished in the exclusion zone, uh, led to many led many to meet the same fate. Rescue attempts were pointless. The police would say you perished in a car accident while searching for your friends. Your body burned beyond recognition. Your story ends here. Wait, is there multiple endings, maybe? I wouldn't imagine so. I'll check the game store page. A short horror game. It's their first foray into horror game, and the first they've ever released. 
Yeah, good presentation. If this is the first horror game, usually whenever there's... Usually I'm pretty sure people will remember that. Whenever... I'm gonna see if also if there's multiple endings or people talk about endings. Nice. Alright. Usually people probably remember me as the kind of person where at the end of a video and a game just sort of is mediocre or meh to me or a waste of time. I'm very blunt and honest with as much of the my feedback and criticism as I feel I can offer. In this instance, I would say it would be hard to tell that it is their first game. And I would probably appreciate... Like, if that's legit their first game in the horror genre, clearly, from people knowing, you know, indie horror games that I've played, people should know I've played much... Like, just, I've played bad ones. I don't know, I've played a lot of good ones. So I feel like, of course, I can differentiate and tell what is good. This... It is indeed a short horror game, but it does what it's it does what it needs to. It immerses you. It doesn't do anything cheap. And even the ending, I was expecting a, a, a cheap, loud jump scare, but it was slow and gradual. It tried to build you into the atmosphere and slowly bring you into the deepest depths that the game could at least permit at the time of its, uh, I guess, development or time frame. And. Uh, you solve the mystery, your friend is dead, and I don't know, I'm not sure if it really could hint at more coming from this game. Like, your friend is dead, and it's some kind of creature, if I'm not even mistaken in presuming, or at least anecdotally theorizing, it's some kind of rust-related monster. If not, it's just a monster that just is in an area of a cavern that is rusted because aesthetics purposes. But, I don't know, it, it, it was solid. I don't know if I could say rough around the edges, because then I wouldn't be able to really know how to identify and be like, well, it's rough around here or here. I can't really define what would be rough, but it's just, all in all, it's a solid, short indie horror game. I don't know, I'd recommend the developer continue doing horror games like this. I would be uh, excited to play more similar to this. Especially, you know, since it's like, just like it's it's... It's pixelated. Pixelated first-person horrors. Mm, mm, I love it. Anyways, so yeah, I recommend the developer continue this stuff. Uh, be inspired, make more stuff. I will follow them on itch.io, which I'm, I'm clicking right now. Listen to the click. Wait, hang on. Wait. Okay, I can't even pull my mouse towards the fucking webcam, but listen. I'm following. I, oh, I want more. More to satiate my horror lust. Lost? My horror hunger. Quench my thirstiness for horror games. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, I want more. Give me more. Outside of that, good job on the uh, first game, first horror game. There's definitely a lot of people out there who'd make first horror games and I just spit on it or just I'm like, god damn, this is shit. But this one, I give no bad criticisms of. You could say rough around the edges, but it's just like, really? It's an indie game. You're you're not gonna be like I was expecting triple A horror game. Where's the polish? Where's the story? It's just it's it's indie. You it's, you gotta give it a break. So I mean it's like it's solid enough for an indie game. But yeah, I'm ram I'm ranting now. Let's stop that. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm.